Oh hey guys, what's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video. So in this video I'm going to address a common question that I get but it's a little bit more in depth than like your typical what supplements do you use or what's the best routine or how do I lose fat and that's how to manage time. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to do a quick intro here before the workout just to go over generally what I'm talking about and then I'll do a voiceover during the workout where I'll take you through my latest deadlift workout which I did this morning and during the workout I'll basically tie everything into fitness and how this relates to fitness. Um, but in general, I feel that people nowadays especially, they like to brag about how busy they are. For some reason it's cool to be busy and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're not busy. We all are busy. But rather than spend so much time talking about how busy you are, I feel like people can make uh, better use of that time by actually planning around how busy they are to accomplish things that they want in spite of being busy. Um, so one of the issues that I'm guilty of is I feel that we all look at we all have the same 24 hours in the day, but I feel like we all look at that 24 hours and we automatically block off certain time as either like sacred or untouchable time with no real justification as to why. So let me give you an example, I guess. So com it's very common that people will tell me they don't have time to work out and I'll ask them, what do you, give me a breakdown of your day and throughout their day they'll have an hour or maybe even two hours where they watch TV. They'll have two hours where they hang out with friends. They'll have an hour and a half where they have a study group. And those they don't even look at those times as potentially valuable time that could be used for something else, such as going to the gym or doing something else. It's basically automatically in their mind blocked off as to something that they need to do. And I'm not going to tell you that you don't need to do it, but there's always solutions to save time if you need to. Like rather than be in a study group, maybe you could study on your own and save time going back and forth, hanging out with friends, study by yourself. If you have a TV show you got, you have to watch, I mean, it's TV, you could skip the show if you really need to watch it. You can maybe save it for another day, watch it on a, like a streaming source where you could skip commercials, I mean, but you don't need to watch TV. So we all have that time blocked off, myself included, that we think we cannot touch. And therefore, we're only working with a, even a smaller amount of hours in a day to do more productive things. So I'm going to start off with that and now I'm going to continue this conversation with you guys throughout my deadlift workout that I'll take you through from today. What's going on everyone? Hopefully you're still with me and I didn't bore you too much in that little intro. So I'm going to talk about three personal examples that might apply to you as well that I've changed throughout my fitness journey. The very first one is I used to think that I needed eight to nine hours of sleep. In fact, I was scared that if I did not get eight to nine hours of sleep, that I would not make any gains and my workouts would be wasted. So I always looked at eight to nine hours of sleep as a must. And don't get me wrong, sleep is important. But more recently, as I've become more busy, I started cutting out a little bit of sleep. And what I've actually noticed is I feel actually better on six and a half to seven hours of sleep than I used to feel on eight to nine hours of sleep. So if I never even tried to sleep less, I would have continued to block off that eight to nine hours of sleep thinking that I needed it, when in reality, I'm just fine with an hour less. And that extra hour and a half can be used to do other things throughout the day. A second example is my routine. When I first went to the gym, I thought I needed to be in the gym at least five days a week, maybe even six or seven, but at least five days per week. I switched a couple years ago to a four day routine. And by cutting out a whole day in the gym, not only has my progress been better, but that's a whole extra day that I don't have to worry about um, my workouts, the meals before the workouts, driving to the gym, driving home, cardio. So that's, that's a lot of time saved. And the truth is, even four days might be a, one more day than I need. I could probably go to three. But honestly, I'm scared to step out of my comfort zone and go even less. But I did make that change going from five to four. I noticed no adverse effects. If anything, I noticed benefit. And by cutting out a whole gym day, that was a tremendous amount of time that I saved. Uh, the third thing that I did was back in the day, I used to have, think I needed to eat like six meals per day. And eating six meals per day, I mean, whether you're prepping in advance or prepping it as you go, that takes a lot of time. Every two to three hours, you're basically making a meal. It, you, you're losing focus on whatever you're working on for the day. And it definitely takes a lot of time out of your day. 
So what I started doing more recently is rather than have several small meals a day, I really just eat when I have time. So I'll I usually do like two larger meals and then two more snack related meals. And this way it fits throughout my day. I don't feel like I'm burdening myself by having to eat. And it really just goes along with my day rather than feel like I have to plan my day around my eating. So those three things save a tremendous amount of time. And when I first joined the gym, when I first started lifting, I didn't even consider the option of not doing those things. Those times were just blocked off in my mind. I thought I needed to be in the gym every day. I thought I needed to sleep this amount of time. I thought I needed to be eating at this time. And when you add up that all those things, I was wait, I was not I don't want to say wasting, but I was using so much time that I didn't have time to do other things. And the truth is those three things were not even necessary, and by not doing them, I actually noticed better results. So those are three personal examples for me. This could apply to you as well with fitness. There might be other things that you might be thinking of that you do that you don't really need to do. So Sometimes we need to step out of our comfort zone. We do things that we've been doing for so long for no other reason than we've just been doing them for so long and it's a routine to us. But sometimes that routine might not be the be the most beneficial. And sometimes you might actually need to make a sacrifice that, like for example, even though my four day routine, I'm actually noticing better results. Maybe you'll actually need to notice slightly worse results on a three or two day routine just to fit it into your schedule. So time management is key. If it, Make this. You might have to make sacrifices. We all do, but I thought I would just share that little personal information uh, with you guys. So, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below, and I will see you guys in the next video. But before I do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.